Okay, let's try this again. Um, I, I want to talk about the the definitions that I use, the portal terminology. Note too that I changed the name from porthole chest to portal chest. Makes more sense. Um, the first one here is open portal. Um, don't know if you can see that. Anyways, or open portal. Yep. Yeah, okay. So open portal. We've talked about that. A portal is not occupied and free for entry and exit. Now that's an open portal. Now. An occupied portal is a portal it is occupied when a piece is on that portal. You cannot exit through an occupied portal, and a portal does not become open until the end of the move, so no fair returning to the portal that you entered. Now, basically, if you were to do that, then you could land, you could end your turn just standing on the same portal that you use as your entering portal. So one of the rules is um, portals are non-optional. This is something that I put into the rules of this ver variant of Portal Chess. Um, it's actually a form of simplification. So that's why I have some strict rules about how they behave. Active. A portal is made active by any valid capture move against an open or occupied portal. The active portal is then placed on the square where the capturing piece was before the move was initiated. Okay, that's the dynamic aspects of portal. Okay, dormant portal. A portal is a portal that is covered or occupied by one or more portals. You cannot enter or exit from a dormant portal. And there's another kind of dormant portal called a stone portal. And to show you this is actually a little complicated. But I wanted to kind of give you some of the terminology before we start talking about how these things work. So moving along here, we're moving simply so we can demonstrate portal movement. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do another uh, video. This is just going to stall.